What is going on, ladies and germs? Uh, so, a recap from the video, probably eight months old now, of doing the interior. Finally got the interior done, got it back in the car, which, oh, mine, which, um, came out, all right, headliner, could have been done better, um, what's up? Uh, so, with the window, I had to put, I took the, the one that was on here before, put this one on, I have to adjust it, but whatever, at least not, don't be a pain in my ass, uh, the headliner, oh, Oh, if I'm gonna fall, I'm probably gonna die. All right, there you go. Purple headliner is in. Interior is in. The couple spots that I don't like. That corner right there, as you can see, that corner is coming up a little bit as well. Pretty much every corner on this damn thing. And then this side is all just fluffered, I guess you can say. But the the actual a pillars came out decently this so i just need to put the side trim back on but these came out decently the backs the rear there you go rear came out decently as well there you go see how well that holds up with light and stuff there's another closer look but uh yeah I put these back on, but this I still got to connect the speaker wire to, and this one I got to obviously take this door card off, fix the readjust the door, figure out why this keeps popping up on me. In this case, I have another one in the basement, which I can probably use if I need to, and then continue putting on the rest of the interior trim including all the all that wiring harness on that side which is in this bin probably more bins downstairs but everything else is on hopefully by the end of today i can have most of this if not all of this interior finished all right. all right take two because last time i had music playing i'll probably get copyright strike or whatever so as you saw door card is off and this these bolts are completely free. One, two, three, four. Uh, I did pull up on it a little bit, and now when we close it, still got the gap, so it still needs to come up a little more. Probably gonna come up all the way, honestly. So that'll come up all the way. On the other side of the door, I have to adjust it a little bit as well, because this one just opens up just a little right there. Otherwise, the rest of the door sits flush. All the other seams are nice. Honestly, I hate adjusting windows. The biggest pain in my as I almost die. The biggest pain. But this one is perfect. And both back windows. Oh, yeah, both both back windows are good to go. I just gotta put the the door trim on this one. Door trim on the front. After I adjust that, and um, those will be good. I think so. 19 hours fours? Nah, just kidding. They go on that guy. That guy's different now. But yeah, so let's uh, pull up on this guy, adjust it, make it right, make it good, put it in. We have done it. Look at that. Oh, such a nice line. Opens and closes without any problem. No more hang ups, no more problems. All right swapping out the mirrors and I noticed that this is completely different oh. if I ever find this one Actually, there you go then this one glad I had the tools best best investment honestly $20 Audi toolkit has everything you need saving my all right now for the fun part of putting this harness back between this door and feeding it all through here. It's not that bad. You just connect up most of the stuff, color coded, makes it easy. But we'll fish that in and then we'll wire up the door card and should pretty much be ready to go. Well, this window's gotta come out because I had to run this wire while the window's out. So I take this window out and I gotta run that wire and then 
put it all back together, which is fine because this window had to be adjusted anyway, but still, it's more work that I didn't need to do, but if I was smarter, I would have thought about it earlier. Oh well. There we go, so much better. Now with the door off, you can pretty much route this where it needs to go. And then put essentially the window back on. And it should be good to go. As far as this door goes, just plug all the wires back up. Oh, come on. Cooperate. There we go. There we go. So that'll be ran. This is ran. Uh, that popped off, which is fine. It's right here. As long as I don't break these guys, we'll be good. I'll put the put that back on. Put the lock back on. For the most part, all these go into here through there. Make sure I get that shim back. And there's only one that'll run up to the mirror. All right, just like that. Looks like we're good. All right, let's uh, button this part up. All right. There we go, boys. Got all the door cards on. Can't really see from this thing. Kind of blocked. <laughs> Got no room. I'm limited. Let's see from the other side. All right, there's the other side. So all the door cards are on. It's starting to look like a car again. Got to get those center pieces back on. Um, that back on. Finish up this guy. And then, essentially, you can put the back seats in. Hopefully, if I get the back seats in by today, I'll be happy. And worry about the uh, front seats later. But, looking. All right. We got the back seats, the bolsters in. As well as the, the seat pillar. On that side, it's in. As you can see. And this side, you see it's kind of drooping, but that's because they didn't put the bolt in. And a lot of the things are broken, tabs and stuff. But, let's see. That's all in. She's coming along, man. She's coming along. At least now I can semi lay down and stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. Door cards are in. Starting to look like a car again. A little bit more. We still gotta put the trim down here on. Still gotta connect a couple more wires. And then I gotta figure a way to put the chassis brace in for the uh, racing harnesses. I don't know if I'm gonna have to either cut that or pull that off to mount it. And then there's obviously a couple, there's a, oh, there it is. It's a bolt down here. We can put the brace bottom mounts to. That way I can still have complete access to the back seats if I have passengers. And, um, utilize race seats, I guess. And then after, after all that's done, we'll start putting together the, I don't know what else I have left. I just gotta probably have to go, go over this guy all over again. So nice. There you go. Kind of double check everything on this this motor before it goes back in. I know, like the sensor or the fuel pressure sense, fuel pressure regulator needs to go on. All the harnesses, I believe, are connected. Probably not. Just gotta double check that. Double check all the fittings and everything. That way, when I put it in, everything will just go straight in without an issue. All right, guys, that'll be all for the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you did, I guess. Thank you. Either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for, uh, hopefully, I'm keeping you entertained. I don't know. Kind of, like, just jump from thing to thing. Kind of random, but I don't know what else to do.